Hey, this is Ibex. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on Marketplace for Idle Heroes PS. Right now I'm looking at my market from yesterday. So if I refresh, because it's after reset, so it's 15 UTC, and you can Google 15 UTC uh, to show what time zone or what that means in your own local time zone. So for instance, for me, 15 UTC happens at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'm in New York. Anyway, uh, the, here's, here's, what I would, here's what I normally buy. Now, I always recommend on S1, especially if you're getting started, always buy the Profit Blessings. It's a very good deal, and it's like one of the best ways to get light dark heroes on Idle Heroes PS because there is a 2% chance that you'll pull an LD hero, so a, a light or dark hero, uh, using a branch, using what we call, well, I can't click on this anymore, but you know, the, the profit blessings, the branches. Hey, I always buy, no matter what, the basic tavern quest. At the beginning, it's a little hard to get that gold. Um, and so I also always buy the super wishing coins. Now, the reason I buy these, if we go over here and look uh, in the super wishing, well, you have a very big chance to get 4K gold, and sometimes that's 5K, 5K is the max. So 5K gold, I say 5K, 5 million gold, 500, 5, 500 uh, or 5,000 Ks, 5 million gold, which makes a big difference when we go back to our marketplace, right? So I always buy the super wishing coins for that reason, especially early game. Now you can see I'm, I'm in mid game, mid to late. Well, I'm as, uh, as far into it as anyone. So since I am gold rich, I always also buy the uh, basics, the basic scrolls, and I also always buy the the, the dust. Um, and then, you see I'm being real careful not to hit the refresh button. It's because once you hit the refresh button, this whole page is gone. So I do all my buying first. I buy everything I'm going to buy. I always buy the orb. What else do I always buy? That's actually it. That's what I, that's the only, that's, that's the only things that I almost, that I always do. Um, and you know, I don't even need to buy these branches anymore because I've got like a billion of them. Um, but, I, but I highly recommend buying it at the beginning. So yeah, I mean, the other thing, I normally buy wishing coins, but I'm also pretty wishing coin rich. Um, I am gonna go ahead and buy the heroic, the heroic scroll, just the cheap one. Um, but then I wanna show you the second page. So if I refresh one time, now I'm looking at the second page and you can no longer go back to the first page. So keep that in mind. Once you refresh, you can no longer go back. I'm not gonna buy any of this right now because I don't need it. On seasonal, it's definitely worth buying some of these spirits uh, when you've got the gold. Um, first page is the good stuff. Second page is the stuff that you can buy for gold. And then the third page is all foolish. And so this timer, this timer shows how long till you, you get another refresh. You know, I've got 15 refreshes, so I don't, the timer doesn't really matter. That, that's not the timer to pay attention to. The time when you can reset again, refresh again, and get uh, back to the good stuff will be tomorrow at reset. Again, 15 UTC. Google that in your own time zone, and that's when you can refresh. Let's go in, let's jump into Tavern. The reason I'm not buying, you know, the 750 Heroic Scroll and Market um, and other items like that is because Tavern is where I like to spend my gems each day. Um, doing Tavern refreshes. This little button right here. So here's what I buy each day. I'm not gonna buy any of that. I don't buy the skins because the skins are all uh, only cosmetic. I do buy one per day of these tin, tin bombs on the casino, uh, wishing coins. Oh, I should go ahead and use all my um, all my free my little basic tavern scrolls, so I have more to refresh. Again, nothing. Now sometimes I'll just buy. Oh yeah, so I I'll always take. I actually take all super wishing coins. Let's see what else we get. I buy if if it's over. You know, I buy these red the uh, the six star gems. There's a four four uh, four time heroic scroll. I buy that. Sometimes I will end up buying the two. Uh, heroic Souls, but right now I'm, I'm actually really trying to push and get all my t uh, profit orbs. 
which I don't need anymore, I guess. Yeah, maybe I will just go ahead and accept these. Yeah, I mean, you, but, but you see how, like, I'm just using these gems pretty, pretty, pretty strong. I'm going to go ahead and accept two uh, Heroic Scroll uh, when they show up. Because um, you know what? I forgot. I no longer need to be saving like crazy for the orb event because I'm not going to be doing it because I already have that avatar. Uh, what else are we getting? But yeah, I mean, you generally, I really recommend you push pretty hard on the, these refreshes. I've just spent, what, 2K? Um, but you, you look at what I'm going to be getting for that. Um, and it's pretty, uh, it's going to translate into a lot of copies of, of orbs. And a lot of copies of, of the, the heroic scrolls. So... <clears throat> That's basically my uh, my buying guide for Tavern. The other thing is that you don't need to save anything. I don't save anything. I don't save a single. Um, I don't save a single thing because when it gets to Tavern Week, um, you only need two uh, seven stars. And look, I already got one. I mean, just you get them so fast. You don't really need if you're especially if you're rolling rolling pretty hard. You don't need to be saving any of your tavern scrolls um, for any reason. In fact, it slows it down when you... The game slows down a little bit when you have a lot of saved uh, tavern. Um, and you also want to start each one. This lock button, don't do it. You, just, you, you want to start all your quests each day. Any quest you don't start just means that you get one less free quest the next day. So if I, if I decide to save... 15 quests, it just means I would not get 15 quests tomorrow. I'm lazy, so I'm just going to start that gym quest. And um, that's that, that's pretty much it for... Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, hey, hopefully this video turns out to be a lot shorter than the other ones. I will catch you next time. And uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Or let me know what your uh, buying choices are in market and your refresh strategies in tavern. Uh, until next time, I'll catch you later. Please do like, and subscribe, and we'll see you later.